Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, we are going to have a look how you can use Azure Update Management, not just for your Azure virtual machines, but also for your resources running outside of Azure using Azure Arc. So as you know, you can use Azure Update Management to make sure that your servers are up to date and you have the latest patches installed. You can actually use it to orchestrate the patching process. Now, if you're running in a hybrid or multi-cloud environment and you're not just using Azure, I want to show you in this video how you can leverage the same Azure Update Management tooling as you would do for your Azure Virtual Machines for your servers running outside of Azure. Now, this works with Linux and Windows VMs running on premises or at your edge location or even at other cloud providers. These can be virtual machines and physical machines and doesn't really matter where they're running. Again, Azure Arc can really help you with that. Now, what I already did here, I already added the server uh, to the Azure control plane using Azure Arc. Now, I highly recommend that you do that uh, as well. Uh, again, I have a video on that, how you actually do this. So check out my channel um, to find that video. But after you joined that server, uh, you can actually go and manage it directly from the Azure uh, portal. And so if we look at the left side here, we can scroll down and we can see update management as we can do, as we can do it for an Azure VM. We see our update management. And if we click on this, we can then actually see the compliance state of that server. So you can see here that I'm actually compliant, but I have a couple of preview updates missing, right? So if that would not be preview updates, it would actually say, well, you're not compliant because you haven't installed the latest update. So let's install these updates. And what I can do here is I can simply schedule a new update deployment for that specific server. So what I'm going to do here, uh, this is app 01 update and what I, this is just the name for the update deployment. You can basically choose whatever you want. Uh, the Azure Arc uh, UI also detects that this is obviously a Windows VM. Uh, so I'm going to select Windows here by default. Um, if it would be a Linux machine, it would obviously recognize that it's Windows and uh, Linux. And I actually can then show you in just a bit why that is. Now you can then configure a maintenance window. You can then configure your reboot options. So you can say always reboot, never reboot, reboot if required. And I think that makes a lot of sense for my environment. And on the next step, I can actually go out and schedule it. I can say update now, which would mean it would go install the updates in the next five to 10 minutes. Uh, since I'm doing recording this video, this is probably not a good idea and you probably don't want to do updates during business hours. So what you can do is you can actually schedule an update for a later point in time. And you can also set like not just the date, but also the time. Um, and then you can also make in a recurring update. So you can say, well, I want to patch that server every Tuesday night, for example. So you can set it to recurring uh, and configure that uh, as well. On the next step, you can then actually select what updates should be installed during that update run. And you can then select the update classifications. Now, this is why we chose Windows at the beginning or it selected Windows, because obviously these update classifications are only available on Windows. You have different mechanisms on Linux machines. So here I would say, okay, let's use all of them. I can also then just include or exclude specific updates as well. And then I could run um, pre or post scripts if I need to. And at the end, I can then just basically review all the, the things I just did and then just create that update deployment job. Now, this, just to be clear, this doesn't change the source of where the updates are coming from. So if you configure it from like um, Microsoft Update, it comes still from Microsoft Update. If it's using like WSUS, for example, for your environment or on the Linux side, if you have any internal repositories, it's still going to use this. It's just going to trigger. Um, it only orchestrates the updates and still keeps the same configured uh, source. Now, 
the next thing you probably say, well, Thomas, this is great, but I, I manage hundreds, if not thousands of different servers. Um, I don't want to do that for every server. So yes, so if you go back to the, to the portal here, we can actually see that I have a button here called manage multiple machines. Now, if I press this button, it will take me to my Azure automation account, where it's also hosting the update management solution. And here you can see you get an overview about all your systems running in your environment. Again, these can be running in Azure or outside of Azure. It can be Linux or Windows machines. And you can see here, I do a fairly good job except for one host, which is not compliant at the moment. Um, I can also find of like a list of all the missing updates. I can have a look at the previews, uh, like the scheduled update deployments or of the history um, to these uh, deployments and see there and find more information what it actually did after updating. So I would get a chart and see if it, everything was successful or if there was any update we couldn't be installed uh, and much more information as well. I also have the chance here if I manage a large set of servers to actually go through and filter different things here. Now, again, I can also now schedule the update deployment here. This will be actually give me the same options with one difference. And that it allows me to actually select a group of servers. So instead of just selecting a single server, I would actually select a group of different servers. Um, so I could say, well, I could create an update group, schedule that, making it recurring uh, tasks. So every Tuesday, group one of servers, for example, with domain controller one, database server one, these all systems get updated on Tuesday night. And then I could create another uh, update deployment, schedule that for recurring task where domain controller two and database server two and, and so on would get patched as well. So I don't have that both domain controllers or both database servers go down at the same time. So we can actually take care of that as well. And again, the great thing about this is that I'm not just having all these resources managed here for Azure, but also for servers which are running in my own data centers at my branch office uh, at my retail stores, at my um, factories, or even stuff which I run at other cloud providers. So it doesn't matter really where it's running, I can actually take care of it and use Azure Update Management to do so. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.